Hey, Joe Gilder here. Today I'm going to show you how to set up parallel compression in Studio One using the splitter tool. It's really cool. If you haven't tried it, you got to try it. You got to try it. It's so much better than any other way I've done parallel processing. So here is a drum mix. And the, first of all, what is parallel compression? It's the idea of taking a track and or a drum mix in this example and having the dry drum mix come through to our ears, but then have a copy of that drum mix go through some heavy compression and blend the two. So everything's not compressed, and there's heavy compression, but we still get all the transients of the uncompressed mix. It's kind of the best of both worlds. The way to do that historically is to use buses to or sends or something like that to send a copy of the drum bus somewhere else and then use compression on one of them and don't use compression on the other. Studio One makes that a whole lot easier. So let's go into this drum bus here and let's click on this button up at the top called routing. Or if you want to do it even easier, just open up your plugin window, find the plugin called splitter and just drag that onto your track. And that will automatically open up this groovy little window that lets us do all of this fun stuff. So real quick, here's what those drums sound like without any compression on them. So let's just say we're thinking I'd really like to get all the benefits of heavy compression, but still let all the transients and the natural like, like spikiness of the drums come through. So what we do here is we add a compressor. So for simplicity's sake, I'm just going to add our stock compressor plugin, and I'm adding it to one side of this split. So this is a parallel splitter, meaning it is taking everything that comes through it, and it gets split, and everything goes through here, and everything also goes through here. So, and it all gets joined up back together down here. And this is all happening inside of the channel itself. We don't have to have any buses, we don't have to have any sends, we don't have to do anything like that. We just use splitter, and now we can split things left and right. So it's important to note that this isn't left channel, right channel, although we can do that by using channel split. But with normal split, it's a it's duplicating the sound. It's a it's a normal kind of parallel processing environment. So this side gets no compression, this side gets compression. Now, how do we go about listening to one side or the other? We can mute either side. And you can actually see visually that it like breaks the connection here. So now we're just listening to the compression side. So let me just dial in something aggressive on the compression side here. Typically for me, aggressive means pretty fast on the attack side. So let's go like one millisecond attack, pretty quick release. Let's go pretty aggressive on the threshold and the ratio. And let's see what kind of nonsense we can come up with. that's aggressive that's like it's it's there's a lot of compression going on here i brought the attack up to around three and a half four milliseconds but one quick tip if you hear it feeling kind of digital and kind of kind of crackly probably because one of the, either the attack or the release are just too fast so that time right now it's a little too fast on the release it's going like whoa, whoa, whoa. So I just make the release a little bit longer and it smooths it out. Okay, so we've successfully squashed the crap out of these drums. If we come back over to our sp splitter, which doesn't show up as a plugin here because it's not really a plugin, it's really just a link to this routing page here, we can now click on the splitter and we can turn the other side back on um, and we can adjust the volume of either the, of either side. So this is a fader and this is a fader. So what we can do is now we're listening to both together. So what I'll do is I'll start with just the compressed version, then I'll click this on to let us hear the uncompressed version blended with it in parallel. So it does make everything louder, of course, but it also is adding in all that compression on top of the uncompressed signal. So we may decide maybe we don't want that much of the compressed signal, so we may pull this one down. What you might do is come all the way down to zero and then use this as like a fader to bring it in to just the right amount. Let's do that.
That's pretty cool. Listen to what happens when I turn the compressor off. You can hear the difference. Just added in this extra aggressiveness from the compressor, but we're still getting the, the clean signal always. So instead of it sounding hyper compressed like it did here, we're actually just getting that the, the taste of that on top of the uncompressed version. It's a great tool to have in the arsenal. You can find lots of videos on parallel compression and when to use it and why it's so awesome. But I think we would both agree that Studio One lets you set that up in a really, really easy way. And by the way, you can put whatever compressor you want and you could even put more plugins over here too. If you decided you wanted that compressed signal to not have all that extra like low end rumble, you could put like an EQ on there too. And now, whoops, I didn't mean to close that. Now our compression side sounds like this and that might be exactly what we want too. You can put any number of plugins over here. You can do parallel distortion, parallel delays with a different delay and on any, just all sorts of creative things you can do and it's all happening inside of the channel with this splitter plugin. It's a very cool tool. If you're not using it, start using it because it is such a cool game changer. All right, thanks for watching. See you in the next one.